we had the idea that if we're going to do something about carbon dioxide, we wanted to make it profitable for businesses to capture and do something useful with that carbon dioxide. Uh, so we began looking at different types of technologies that already existed to do that. And we looked at innovations that weren't being commercialized. And in the process, we found this great concept uh, by NASA during the 60s and 70s, where they were looking at the possibility of going on long space journeys uh, to Mars or planets beyond that, where astronauts would be on a flight for a year or more. And in those cases, one has to figure out how to utilize and recycle all of the resources on board that spacecraft. And so one of the things that they had to figure out was how to recycle carbon. And one of their ideas included using microbes as a way of recycling that carbon dioxide, creating a closed loop uh, carbon cycle on board the spacecraft. So similarly, uh, we use microbes to, to make things like protein. And microbes are an integral part of our food production system already. Microbes are used to make yogurt, to make beer, to make cheese. And we are taking it to the next level. We're using microbes to make protein. So Earth is our spaceship. And our spaceship has a crew that's growing to the tune of 10 billion people by 2050. And so we have to figure out how to sustain life on Earth. We have to do things in a more sustainable way. We have to address our carbon problem. We have to produce food in a way that is scalable and nutritious, but doesn't negatively harm the planet. And I think one of the benefits of this prize is that they are encouraging and accelerating companies that have solutions to help us sustain life on our spaceship.